Well, let's turn to our discussion with Professor Norma. First, in your assessment, uh, to what extent was the issue of uh, the fight against, uh, you know, the threat of terrorism, ISIS and those groups, uh, uh, you know, featured in the, you know, election of the President of the United States? It was superficially <clears throat> discussed. Mm -hmm. um, Hillary Clinton had some proposals, uh, you know, deploying no-fly zones in Syria, but it was never debated. What does that mean? Yeah. That means that you have to send troops in there, and, you know, what happens if you shoot down a Russian jet? Are you ready to go to war? All those things. But it wasn't discussed because of the superficiality of the Trump proposals, the things that he talked about, you know, I'm going to carpet bomb them, I'm going to uh, reinstitute torture. All of those things are not things that are possible. So it made that discussion very bizarre. And this strongman talk is very dangerous because so, it feeds into the terrorist recruitment process. But uh, it, it, so what it means essentially is that uh, President Trump will probably have to sit down and uh, think through a plan, which yes. we probably may have to discover. Yes. That the, whatever was said uh, during the campaigns may not really... It's not tenable. Yeah. He claims that he knows more about ISIS than the generals. Yeah. I don't think he does. He will be finding out very soon when they start doing the briefing yeah. how complicated this problem is and that you cannot just go in and carpet bomb people. Uh, you have to address the structural sources of terrorism, which France itself is struggling to do with. The same kind of rhetoric that he displayed, the Muslim ban, all those things, they actually help the terrorists who are recruiting, who are mm -hmm. saying that, look, we told you these people don't want us here. That's a problem that France has. France has marginalized this Muslim minority, and those, even though they are sympathetic to the French Republic, they have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the mullahs in their midst are saying, we told you, we told you so. So Donald Trump has to be very careful with what he says and what he does. Well, the elections are over, the election rhetoric is over, uh, so many people uh, saying, oh, we don't know the, the, what's going to happen. You know, there's so much of unknowns. But from your experience, do we ever really know the extent of what a president or an administration would do just, you know, before We don't they know, get in? but Barack Obama said something, I believe yeah. this. The presidency does not change you, it magnifies you. So Donald Trump is not on the brightest stage ever. He's a showman. Do you think he's going to change that much? Perhaps he believes the reality. He Perhaps Losing the reality of uh, sitting in that office and looking with that no, from that position that may change the perception. If he had lost, perception. he would have had some kind of self-reflection. Yeah. But once he won, when everybody was betting against him, he didn't have an organization. He did this on his own. He thinks that the people are with him. And that's what's important to this man. He thinks that he has a mandate from the people that yeah. voted for him. When yeah. everybody was saying, don't vote for him, don't vote for him, he's yeah. crazy, he's crazy, he's crazy. Yeah. He has that won. So it's going to be very problem. hard for anybody to <laughs> advise him and say, your plan is wrong, yeah. when he has proven everybody that he can do it on his own. We'll, we'll wait and see how things play out. Uh, Professor Nuama, we do appreciate your insight. Our well, thanks to Ko Nuama, he's an adjunct professor at American University and a senior fellow at the Center for Conflict Resolution, Salisbury, Maryland, for joining us today on Africa 54.